As much of the country tries to return to normal, Yuma Regional Medical Center says COVID hospitalizations are once again going in the wrong direction. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Madonna Salbright. That's hard to hear. I'm Jenny Day. Tonight, the majority of those hospitalized are unvaccinated. Our reporter Adam Klepp joining us from YRMC with more on what the hospital is calling the now fourth surge of the virus. Yeah, Yuma Regional Medical Center seeing COVID hospitalizations back above 60 as they fear another wave of this pandemic is upon us. I think it's because people are more relaxed. That's Chief Nursing Officer Deb Aders on the recent local rise in COVID hospitalizations. YRMC's latest numbers showing 63 total hospitalizations due to COVID. Interestingly, 12 of that 63, or 19 percent, are vaccinated. Ader says this could be due to the declining effectiveness of the vaccine over time. But we're finding these are people who had their vaccines like at December of last year or January. Ader says people should consider getting their booster shot six months after their initial vaccination. And while the number of vaccinated people hospitalized at YRMC is higher than before, over 95% of patients in the ICU or dying from COVID are unvaccinated. This recent rise in hospitalizations is happening during the onset of flu season, something YRMC is also monitoring closely. We haven't seen flu yet. We watch every day for an inpatient flu we have not seen yet, but that is another worry we're thinking about. And Chief Nursing Officer Deb Ader is telling me 40 of the 42 current ICU beds are being used, so they may have to expand and make more beds available very shortly. In Yuma, Adam Klepp, News 11.